lot of trees down. There's still no power in this area of Easley, South Carolina. No internet. Our phones work, but that's it. So during the hurricane on Saturday, I guess uh, Clemson University still played their game and people are kind of upset, which I don't uh, disagree on, is they had their game the day after the hurricane in Clemson, South Carolina, and while there was no power or no water for anybody, they still had their game and they still brought in cases of water for the football players when it could have been easily just canceled for the day and they could have used the university for uh, to huddle uh, during the game I mean not during the game during the um, storm so they could uh, use it for shelter but instead they had to get that game in because it's really important for you know, Clemson University to uh, get that game in because they, you know, they're so good of a team. They uh, they're going places, you know, even though they're uh, number twenty third in the country. Yeah, you know, gotta get that game in because that's most important. Not people's lives, not. The hurricane that happened a day before and you need shelter and water and food you know a game had to get in so I'm not too uh, upset about it <laughs> uh, yep that's the university for you it's all about them now we got stuff going on down here Like some trees down. Probably power. just missed the road. I couldn't pan the camera there quick enough, but there was a road, a side road, kind of like this, that was blocked off with a couple of trees down in the road and wires down in the road. And I can't tell if that, uh, that power line doesn't look too good, huh? Well, we got some more construction on going on down here. Yeah. Looks like there's a tree down or something. zone over here. Wow. Looks 
looks like we got some uh, low hanging wires over here. Oh yeah. Yep, and down wires right here. This tree fell right here. This power lines down. That lines down. No electricity looks like it's right there. Those are cable wires. Oh yeah. There's gonna be no internet around here for a long time. Look at this car. Whatever that is. That might just be a uh, a normal South Carolina driver. That probably has nothing to do with the storm. Can't go down that road. <laughs> yeah, we got some power lines down here. So these lights are not working at all. Not at all. So you'll die around here if you don't uh, pay attention. There's already been major accidents of people blowing through intersections with no lights instead of stopping. So got to be aware down here, or be aware anywhere in that matter. some down wires on that. I don't see how this is uh, how power and internet is going to be um, uh, reactivated soon. I see this being a long time. Whoa, look at that. A bunch of trees down in that cemetery. Good trees down on houses. In a quarter mile, that turn road. right onto Pine Bluff Street. Some trees down. This is all over the upstate. I've drove through multiple cities right now. So you're seeing this all through the upstate.
another thing. Um, I don't know what it is, but um, I just got cut off by Anderson Cop, which was going to an emergency, but he didn't have his lights on. And uh, something happened down the Turn side road here. Main street. Something happened down the side road. But I understand, but that's not the first time I've seen cops do things like that in Anderson. That's not an Anderson police officer. That's just a fire department marshal or sergeant, whatever. But that's not the first time I've seen an Anderson police officer do something like that and not have his lights on so that's interesting on its own let's go this way I see some uh, chaos down here so let's take a look This is where the police officer... Head east on Main Street toward down. Hammett Street. Then turn right onto Hammett Street. I can't see down there. Turn right onto Hammett Street. Oh, yeah. Here we go right here. This is the... Continue uh, for two miles. Looks like the Head chaos right here. Head east on Main Street toward Greenville Street. In 600 feet, turn left onto South Carolina 20 North. Continue for two miles. See, like that. In there's 400 a feet, a cop turn right left there. onto South Carolina 20 North. There's a cop right there. Turn He's right not... He doesn't Street. have any of his lights on. Doesn't have any of his lights on. I don't know what it is with the uh, innocent police officer. There's there's a good showing right there. He's going to the emergency, but he doesn't have his lights on, and he's just gonna blow through all the lights and all the good stuff, and you know, not put his lights on. So, yeah, that, that's good. Just in case you want to play basketball while you're uh, driving through town right there, you can uh, play a little b-ball. Yeah, that only happens in Anderson. Only Anderson police do that. I, I don't know. It's a thing with that, the police department. I don't get it. They're the only ones that They're the only ones that do that. I, I don't know. It baffles my mind. I, I don't get it. I don't get it. But anyway, back to the storm. Until something else happens. And we can complain about that. Alright. Oh, look at that sign. That sign is almost down. All right, everyone, um, that's just a quick video through neighborhoods just to show you how things are right now. This is uh, three, three days past the storm, uh, so that's what it looks like, and uh, stay safe. Bye.